Hey guys, so today I'm back with some more Hearts of Iron 4 playing the Great War mod. Now, in the previous videos, what we've basically been doing so far is a build-up of defences along our borders and also a build-up of troops. Now, what we are hoping to achieve in this video is to continue the build-up of our forces and be prepared when tensions get high enough that war begins. Uh, Romania, I'm very interested in, uh, but we need 50% focus before we even... Just find war goals. Okay, construction effort is complete. Uh, America choose new freedom. Right, okay, let's have a look at new focus. What do we want? Infrastructure effort two. Let's go down that route. And military factory is what we got. Work on our support equipment again. Is there anything, any changes you want to do with our. Divisions. Field hospital. No, 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 no. Didn't really need to use those divisions either. Right, okay, so. Let's go on the chase. Uh, we do have enough decent number of uh, manpower. Um... Anything else we can build yet? Siege artillery. I researched that. What about position? Like the artillery. We do actually need to do that. If we're going to keep ours upgrades up to date, we need to do it. 1914 is coming around pretty soon. So we're going to have to start working on new things. There's a lot of things were coming around in 1914, I believe. These need doing quickly. There's nothing there coming in 1914. 1915 for more aircraft. 1914's going to become the new ship line. Uh, artillery line. Armour's next is not until... Sort of two years for that. 1914's all are... Uh, yeah, infantry. Right, so a lot of things are going to be coming around pretty soon. Royal Balkans is not going too bad. As you can see, the Ottomans are being pushed back. More free military factories. Uh, let's keep it pumped up on support equipment. More and more. What's happening with construction? Plenty, plenty of factories. We're going to be building a lot more civilian factories and then more military factories soon. We've obviously built our trenches down there. Yep, trenches done. Wars will be breaking out pretty much next year. That's right, so infrastructure's done. So what do we want? Arm and expansion, let's go for that. Let's go for... So today is that's what five months we need to go for that. Just keep everything up to date. We should be able to keep up with the actual technology race. These guys, I believe, are now for experience, so they could stop training. They need to. They're all grouping up, grouping up down the bottom, which has been a pain. Okay, keep working on that. Got five more divisions here constructed. How many more we're building? Now I've got me to train. That's for the last division. Ah, what we were struggling on? Steel. Can't do anything with our research on steel either until resource fishes again plus five percent. It's not gonna be till nineteen sixteen. That we can do anything. If 
fact, that needs to be low because of the fact that we need to. We don't want to build many of these because we're going to have to upgrade them soon. Leave that, that'll be fine for now. Definitely resources here we want. The oil is going to be important. Coal as well. There's no steel down there. Is there any other steel around? High numbers of steel? No. Not to where we want to push later. Okay, so we just keep that ticket along. Construction wise, we're starting to work. Got quite a decent number of factories now. Oh, mass production. Something amazing has happened in the factory. I'll be quite Avenue. Henry Falls ambition desire to make the uh, an automobile for, automobile affordable for any consumer has inspired. Oh, speaking of automobiles, new armored car. Mass production. Right, so we can't do anything there. That's all done. That's all done. This needs upgrade. So we're going to work on that side of things. We need to change the production now of this to new armor car. Hell of a lot of upgrades needs to be done. Change that over to the max. Okay, we'll get them upgraded. Okay, so that's underway. Well, tension's going down. Tensions, 6.3, current wars. We've got Mexican Civil War at the moment. Civil so War. War has got 100% in favour of the aggressor, so it's going in favour of Serbia. That was the status quo. So have a look what's going off over the other side of the world. Yeah, it's been going for quite a while, that war. New armaments effort. Dot yard expansion as well. Logistics company. The logistics company is going to help us in the sense that. What does it do again? Great. Supply use is matched 10%. So we might actually look at using that. Everything else now is pretty much done for this year. Uh, I want to. In fact, we can't afford to do that at the moment. The amount of things we'd have to add to be unreal. In fact, we'll do it though. So we're going to need anti tank later on. We can't use that. So for now, logistics company. Siege artillery upgrade. It's done. Field hospital. What does that do? Experience was step said trickle back. What is the trickle back? I'm not sure what that is. Research them to a dawn uh, for now. Ships we need to continue. Destroy some detection. There's a lot for submarines, this. I'll go back to capital ships later on. Last that's been researched. That's no good for now. We need to work on this okay so that's gonna take a while but we are looking pretty strong at the moment in time so that's all good plants are disadvantage plants are disadvantage there's a massive build up of Italian force on the border there Which is not the best. Spread these out ourselves. Hopefully, they won't bloody come back. Hopefully they'll stay where they are.
Oh, in the ground. Anyone else needs another one? Two, 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 two. Get over there. Leave two there. That's fine. Okay. Is that a fort up down there? It does. So let's bring them in bed position. We've got three dockyard now, which we're going to use on convoys are being built. They are using steel. This is going to affect the ship. No, we're not. Signal company's done. Slow it down a little bit. Uh, we're running out of time to get everything done here. We need to. Let's double check everything. Night 14 is next. This is what we're going to hammer the next. Oh. Didn't do marines. 83 days. It's going to go to there. We need to work down the infantry stuff next. Okay, so. So far, so good. No divisions in basic training. That's fine. Do have six more divisions here. We've got 12 of these. They're going to be upgrading though soon. Dockyard's done. Let's get that changed over. And we've got one. Three years. Oil's going to be a problem as well. We're going to actually start. Um, do you want these? There's no different apart from they get the uh, elite template. So they just get the equipment first. Supplies first. So. Serbi White Peace Autumn Empire. One run and just keep them going. Just keep doing that. So, uh, hey, the Ottomans have been pushed back. Treaty of London. The Balkans League took advantage of the weakness of the Ottomans and forced them to uh, concede some territories. It's a victory for the Balkan League and maybe the end of the Ottoman Empire. So, as you can see, Bulgaria's expanded down here. With Albania is now in existence. Definitely something we need to keep an eye on. I'm not bothered about the border of Montenegro at the moment in time. I can't really see that being a threat. It will cause an issue, though, if we do lose Dalmatia. Because there we're going to lose a dock naval base. So, that will be bad. So, I may have to get some troops down there soon. We've got six in reserve there at the moment. 12 armoured vehicles, which we are in the process changing. Mexico war's over as well. We'll tension to 28%. Are these changing over now? Yes, they are. Get the better equipment there. So we're almost into two, uh, 1914. Germany has absolutely massed troops along the border with France. We've got enough divisions, I believe, in a hold on the Italian border. Just to hold in case. We've got the forts as well, but that's not going to be anywhere we're going to push. I'm hoping to see if we can actually sort something out with the Italians later on. Construction efforts done. Can't do that until January 1914. What's this? Air bases. It's down this end. Political effort. This is going to increase our train time and our recruitable population. Let's go down this route. Ship designer, no research time, no research time. That's going to affect stuff. That's over the cost. Submarines are going to be better. Screen ships better. Capital ships are going to lose to firepower. Research time. Aircraft. Carrier fighters. Heavy bombers. Heavy bombers. Um. What do you want in the Navy? Amphibious evasion speed, naval, max range factor, capital ship attack, capital ship armor. That's cavalry. Leave that submarine detection, max range, screen attack, screen defense. Leave that. Navy, no, Air Force. For that. And capital ship attack and armor. Go down that route. Okay, so we've used all of them apart from this one. Because I don't know what else to put it as yet. See how that goes later on.
Okay, so at the moment in time, as numbers are looking good, the balls are all looking good. Uh, war should be coming this year. I don't know who's going to be starting it. Bulgaria declared war. So what the hell? Second Balkan War. Bulgaria was not happy with the results of the Balkan War, despite being promised large amounts of territory. Serbia and Greece turned out to be completely unwilling to give up the Bulgarian claims in Macedonia. In response, Bulgaria began an invasion of Serbia with a surprise attack. And then themselves were surprised to find a <laughs> Greco-Serbian alliance had brewed for this exact situation. Bulgaria is in a tough position. Could this ruin the stability of the region forever? Well, now they're screwed. But there is a thing where we can send troops to... There was a thing. Balkland thing. Send troops to help Bulgaria. That's not good at the moment. We'll have a look at that, actually. Because this, this region needs sorting out. Okay, Marines are done. Romanian intervention. Power of Romanian Bulgaria production with a mix of Turks as well with Bulgaria. Swamped in its own war, who would stop Romanian from taking the rest of the region? So Romania are pushing. Okay, so that needs dealing with. Right, okay, so we're 1st of January now. Things we need to deal with, first of all, is... That's no good. That's no good. Aircraft is next year. Ships we can do. Artillery we can do. And all this stuff. So what we want to do is... Early support weapons, first. Wait for the rest. So world tension is definitely rising at the moment in time. A lot's definitely been done. Construction wise, we're looking good. Plenty of factories producing stuff. Most of the factories being built. We've got about some more military factories. How we're looking in terms of production. We've already built just one. We've already built a dreadnought. I thought we built one. Merge those together. Six subs. Dreadnought. Battleships there. Ten submarines. Keep that up. Right. Okay. So. Our crew numbers are getting... Our manpower is getting low because obviously the naval areas are building as well. Uh, we've got a low run of infantry being produced. So far, so good. Political effort gives more political power. Now we're going to go for the Balkans intervention. Balkans policy. Definitely he's dealing with. My division the Germans have. There is astonishing. We really need to be building up. Five divisions. On max run. Keep them going. So we're getting out to about 400,000, then we need to knock it off. Okay, so. Bulgaria's going to be struggling. This entire region is going to be something we're going to be looking at taking. Improve relations with Italy. Let's get it done. Okay, so the moment we have nothing on the borders to the south. We have stuff on the borders up there. Ottoman Empire joined the Second Balkan War. Who joined Ottoman Empire? Upper Empire is at war with Bulgaria. So everybody's at war with Bulgaria. Jesus Christ. So we can end war with all of these. I should bomb a train in. Okay. Let's change that technology now over to infantry side. And what we can do is early motorize. That's definitely something I need. 
Um, I think it's time. I've got another small army. Yeah, they have fully done the things of the. Uh, they need to. Tr they need to get down on this border. They also need to train. Because that ball's not secure anymore. Now it kind of is, to a degree. We need to build an army big enough to be able to push in with keeping these troops on the line. Okay, so the world tension is slightly dropping again, I believe. We need up to 50% so we can just fire war goals. Whoa, 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 what's happened? The treaty was concluded in the aftermath of the Second Balkan War and amended the previous treaty of London, which ended the First Balkan War. About one month later, the Bulgarians signed a separate border treaty, the Treaty of Constantinople, with the Ottomans, who has uh, regained some territory west of the Enos Midi line during the Second War. So that was over. That's what they've got. Fair enough. Okay, next technology. We don't want to do that yet. We just want to keep working down this line. They're good for a while. What's this? Infantry defense 10%. Resupply, uh, re equip infantry defense 10%. Infantry motorized mechanized defense 25%. Let's work on that. When did the war start? I can't actually remember. A lot more troops moving down onto the border over there. Our army is quite small in comparison to others. That is concerning. Not in the Balkans region, though. Down there, we're doing quite good. Um, cavalry soft attack, motorized, infantry soft attack, mechanized. We need to do that. That's just a necessary yield to get through at the moment in time. Okay, being produced. We need to actually start producing some more... These. Three runs of them. Okay. Wow. They've got like 50, 60 divisions over there. And we've got 24. Box pulse is done. Which. Send that. We should have done that ages ago, to be fair. Okay. So things aren't looking too bad at the moment in time. Um, Jova could do with doing. Trenches. Trenches all on the front. Uh, what we're going to do is change the construction priority as well. On these to the top. Get them all up there. Get them built quickly. So we secure on board. It's only one level of the trench. It's just a slight bit of defense there. For us in case required. Let's have a look how long that's going to take. 30th of May. Oh, not long at all to build these. They should be done soon. We've got a slight bit of defensive positions there. As well as building the mountains with the rivers, we've got a good position. In fact, it's pretty much hills and mountains all around, apart from down here. Right, that's the first bit of technology done. Research done, I mean. Um, nice exceeds next, so... Recovery rate, let's do that. 9.15 is when we need to start working on the aircraft development. We need to do ship development soon. Very soon. Okay, so all in all, everything's looking good. What, um, what's happening? My ships are fine. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, basically, 
in this one, what we are working on at the moment is still building up our forces, but world tension is on the rise. And we need to be prepared. Now, looking at some of my neighbours, Germany's an ally, so that's, that's fine. Uh, as you can see, we do have diplomacy. German Empire and Austria-Hungary are in the same central powers faction. Uh, so that's fine, but the Italians are quite strong, and we're not really friendly with them at the moment. And there's a lot of pressure and violence happening down in the Balkans now. This is something we need to address later on. World tension is rise. It's now dipping, but it still has rise quite a bit since the previous video. Uh, so we're going to end it there. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to give it a like. It really does help me out, and I'll see you all on the next one.